Well, what a way to start my day. So I pull up to Justin's work. I have a good feeling that, um, yeah, I think I just saw a dead guy. That's wild. found him dead in the sidewalk. So, well, there's my fair share of seeing a dead person, I suppose. If he's dead, I don't know. If it was a tweaker overdose. Well, don't fuck around with drugs, kids. Well, I'm on my way to church. So, yeah, you know, we just pull in and there were... Oh, excuse me. There was a bunch of uh, cop cars. Three cop cars. Two fire trucks. And one ambulance. So, yeah, and then there were a bunch of people around. So I thought someone got, like, assaulted or someone... Something, because... The dude looked really dirty and gross getting in the ambulance. Like, he looked homeless. Like, you, you could tell something happened, you know. So, yeah, you know. I only saw them putting him into the uh, uh, ambulance. I didn't actually see the body. I mean, like, I saw the body. You know, he was um, not in a body bag, you know. So, I don't know if he's dead or not. So, uh, I'm sure Justin will find that out more. But, um, yeah, no, that's, that's awful. I get to read that. Oh, I don't know. He, the guy might not be dead, but, you know, an overdose is close close to death there, so when I go home, I need to remember to get some gas. So, oh, what's going on here now? Anyway, uh, how are y'all doing? Uh, doing okay. Besides that, that just made the day pretty interesting there. So, I am heading to church, like I said. Today is November 12th, 2023. Yesterday was Veterans Day. So, you know, because I was super bored and had nothing to do, I pre-ordered Modern War, or not pre-ordered, because it already came out, thank God I did not get the most expensive version uh, of Modern Warfare 3, but I pre or I didn't pre-order it, I, I just got the $70, $70 version, Modern Warfare 3, really, I really had, I, I shouldn't have expected hopes for it, but I had really high hopes for that game, you know, because what did they introduce in Modern Warfare 2 that I was so excited to see? No Russian. I was really, really, really excited to see no Russian. That went dead in the water. I was very, very disappointed when I saw how no Russian was taken last night. When I, I didn't beat the game yet. I'm going to finish the game later on today. Today i got to clean the rest of my my guns, and then I'm going to play the rest of that, because I got nothing better going on today, um, but yeah, um, yeah, No Russian was, I, and I've read YouTubers say No Russian was disappointing, I, I have read that people were saying that, that that game was really, really disappointing, 
and I see why now. I see why. I really, really didn't want to take their word for granted for it. But next time, if I fucking read that something Call of Duty is disappointing, I'm taking their word for, <laughs> I'm taking their word for it for next year. I'm making sure to really take their word for it because that is bullshit what I saw, you know, so spoiler alert, spoiler alert for Modern Warfare 3 if you haven't played it, really, um, take, take my word for it if, yeah, take, definitely take my fucking word for it when I say it was bad. It really was not good. The story was good, but you don't you don't hype up no Russian for a year. They didn't hype it up, but you know you don't tease no Russian and then just make no Russian not even five minutes, and you're not even playing as a t and, and and again I don't condone terrorism. I don't condone murder of innocent people, but that's what fucking made no Russian kind of awesome, I hate to say it, that sounds terrible, but, you know, that's what kind of made No Russian awesome, you know, was just the ballsiness that Call of Duty had at the time for putting you in the shoes of playing someone who, along with four other people, not real people, AIs, massacre innocent people in an airport with very big machine, machine guns, you know, M249 Bravos, you know, you know, just, you know, it, it, it sounds terrible now, now that I say it out loud, but, you know, that's what made No Russian, No Russian, in, sorry, let me rewind that, that's what made No Russian infamous, you know, was their way of portraying terrorism, which no game has never done, ever done, you know, and that's what I liked about No Russian was it wasn't it was different, you know, it wasn't fucking it it just wasn't it wasn't afraid to do it, you know. As for Modern Warfare 3 is no Russian, you're not playing as a terrorist, you play as a victim of a hijacked airplane, which was uh tease teaser in Modern Warfare 2, you know, you see them texting Makarov and, you know, um, all that sweet jazz, right? And it's just, um, you know, it was kind of just sh flushed down the toilet. You know, you don't play as a hijacker with a 3D printed Glock, which actually is kind of stupid, you know, because a lot of people actually tested that theory to 3D print the frame and all that stuff too, and probably the barrel, or no, not the barrel, the barrel actually, if you watch the cutscene, the actual gun parts hid in like, uh, flashlight and all that stuff, you know, the barrel and the trigger on their necks and the you know, just metal parts, but then you have a plastic slide, a polymer frame slide, or sorry, a polymer slide with a polymer frame, you know, 3D printed, and people actually tested the theory to shoot the gun, and the gun actually blew up on them, the gun would blow up on them, you know, that's why Glocks have a metal frame and, and polymer grip, or frame, but that's, um, yeah, that's, Besides the point of that not being very um, legit, you know, it it seems like a good idea though, a cool idea, but it's it it really isn't a, a, a great idea because it blows up on them, right? And yeah, you know, you play as a woman who is on the good guys army who actually left, you know, uh, because she has a family, and they they. The hijackers hold her hostage and basically frame her. And it's just like... They give her a gun with, with bullets in it, right? And... When when the, the civilians think she's a terrorist... She has her hands up, but she still has the gun in her hands. It's like, drop the fucking gun, dude. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's it's just what it would be in reality. Because it's just like if you don't want to get framed, if you're if you're not a hijacker, drop the gun. You know, like like I don't know. There was just so much that just wasn't right with no Russian. You know, you don't even, you don't play a hijacker. You play as someone who is framed, and you know. The hijackers don't shoot civilians in this one. They they just um, strap a bomb on you. It's just like, if you really want to save people, it, literally take the bomb off of you. Like like the, like Makarov, who was in the plane, he, he puts the bomb on the girl, but it's just like, is it trigger wired? You know, to where if you take it off, it'll blow up. Just jump out of the plane, grab, you know, jump out of the plane, you know, if you really want to save people's lives, right? So, you know, um, but yeah, you know, it just, it just was, it just really sucked. It just, the no Russian really sucked. The game is still okay, though, but it just really sucked on different aspects, you know? New characters are brought in that are just out of nowhere, you know, like Makarov, this girl who finances him, you know, in a mansion. It's just, who the fuck is that girl? You know, like, who who is that? Melina or something like that. That's her name. It's just like, who's that? Out of nowhere. You know what I mean? So it's just, uh, what time is it? I need to, I need to head in. Yeah, I need to head in because it's already 10.09. Uber. Yeah, so, um, that's pretty much it on that. It's just the campaign, uh, is not the worst, but it just did not meet expectations. Because you'd expect Modern Warfare to go above and beyond, but it does not, so. But I'm here at church now, so I'm just gonna knock this out, and then, uh, yeah. Go home and finish that game up and probably play some multiplayer. And, um, uh, the clean my gun. Yeah. Good morning, PJ, right? Yes. I'm so good. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs>